Elbit Systems, an Israeli weapons manufacturer, has extensive experience in creating, developing, and producing a broad range of advanced and responsive artillery rocket and missile weapon systems. Among their top products are the Pulse, or Precise and Universal Launching System. This autonomous artillery rocket system is a precise, cost-effective, and adaptable launching system, providing comprehensive solution for modern fire support, as well as an assortment of accurate rockets and missiles offering optimal responsiveness. Unlike traditional artillery, Pulse eliminates the necessity of relocating artillery units based on the required firing range. According to recent report, the Dutch Ministry of Defense plans to buy Pulse multiple launch rocket systems from the Elbit systems. So, what does this Pulse look like? The Pulse system has been designed to optimize response and firing flexibility without requiring any specific system modifications. A typical firing mission can be carried out in under a minute from initiation. This versatile system can fire different types of ammunition to different ranges from a single position, reaching up to 186 miles. The launcher has two pods, with each pod designed for a specific type of rocket, the Acular 122mm, with a range of up to 22 miles and 18 rockets per pod, the Acular 160mm with a range of up to 25 miles and 10 rockets per pod, the Extra with a range of up to 93 miles and 4 rockets per pod, and the Predator Hawk with a range of up to 186 miles and 2 rockets per pod. Therefore, the system can precisely and effectively eliminate the intended targets at all ranges. Another point that makes the Pulse system unique is its ability to be easily integrated into existing platforms, which leads to a significant reduction in costs associated with maintenance and training that would have been necessary if a new vehicle platform was adopted. The launcher was created with the intention of filling the gaps between all components of artillery, including means of fire, sensors, and C-41. The system's superior performance on both on- and off-road terrain permits quick repositioning to avoid counter-battery fire. Moreover, the Pulse comes with a precise navigation system and advanced communication and computing technologies, making it suitable for network-centric operations as part of larger artillery formations. It is also important to mention that the Lynx, which was previously developed by Israel Military Industries, or IMI, and used by various countries, has been incorporated into the Pulse system. Elbit Systems acquired IMI Systems on November 25, 2018, and renamed it as Elbit Systems Land. The company then has expanded and developed rocket artillery solutions that are tailored to meet the demands of modern warfare scenarios offering a cost-effective and precise means of firing advanced rockets. The advanced autonomous firing systems allow for effective management of firing missions, ensuring a constant supply of potent fire support in all weather conditions. Very exciting. As previously mentioned, the Elbit systems will be selling Pulse multiple launch rocket systems to the Dutch Ministry of Defense. The Netherlands aims to reintroduce rocket artillery that can reach more than 43 miles, which was phased out by its military in the 2000s. In doing so, it is diverging from the trend of several NATO allies by choosing the less well-known Pulse developed by Israel instead of the M142 HIMARS system from the US. This is because the Pulse system has several advantages over the HIMARS system. Dutch Defense Secretary Christoph van der Mott provided a brief statement explaining the decision. He stated that the Pulse is more cost-effective than HIMARS, as it can deliver a larger number of precision-guided missiles within budget. Moreover, due to its ability to carry more missiles and open architecture, the Pulse system will be able to handle ammunition from European manufacturers in the future, providing opportunities for international cooperation to enhance European independence. Furthermore, the Israeli weapons, including both launchers and rocket ammunition, were found to be significantly cheaper, and they could be delivered at an earlier time between late 2023 and 2026, while HIMARS would arrive much later. 
In brief, the comparison between Pulse and HEMARS is as follows. By default, the Pulse has two rocket launching pods compared to HIMARS's one. Once fired, a new pod can be replaced in under 10 minutes. Unlike HIMARS, Pulse is solely a launcher that can be attached to a range of vehicles, allowing customers to incorporate them into their existing logistics. The original version of Pulse was the 6x6 Lynx multiple rocket launcher truck from the Israeli military industry. The IDF's artillery division uses Pulse on Oshkosh 8x8 hemp trucks known as Lahav. Pulse has the ability to hit targets at greater distances by mounting two pods, each with four 306mm extra-guided rockets that have a range of 93 miles. It is important to note that HEMARS will match this range in a few years with the production of a new GMLRSER variant of its 227mm rocket this year. When comparing Pulse and HIMARS side by side, Pulse can deliver eight 300 millimeter rockets, whereas HIMARS can only carry six 227 millimeter rockets. Alternatively, Pulse can carry four tactical missiles while HIMARS can only carry one. The Pulse system can provide similar effects as Soviet-era BM-21, BM-27, and BM-30 rocket systems, as well as the older OTR-21 Tochka ballistic missile. This means that the same launcher can be used for various missions, including precise strikes on depots, air defense and HQ behind enemy lines, as well as saturation bombardments over a broad area or point targets near the front line. However, HIMARS and M270 have their advantages, including compatibility with the longer-range precision strike missile under development and having been battle-tested in high-intensity conflicts such as the anti-ISIS war in Iraq and Syria and in Ukraine. Krauss Maffe Wegmann, or KMW, and Elbit Systems Deutschland have decided to enhance their strategic cooperation after having signed a Memorandum of Understanding in June of the previous year. This decision was motivated by the necessity to modernize and expand the capabilities of the European Multiple Launch Rocket System. Elbit Systems provides an advanced range of effectors that completely conform to the demands of MLRS users, from rockets with greater range to novel training ammunition that allows for training as you fight on national testing grounds. KMW and Elbit have developed the concept of Europulse for the European Long Range Rocket Artillery, which is the succeeding system for the MLRS. The Netherlands is set to receive four unmounted Pulse launchers in 2023, which will initially be used for training and to explore integration onto Scania Griffiths 8x8 trucks that have already been acquired under the DVOW program. The launchers are expected to be installed in 2025 or 2026, along with Dutch-specific secured command and control systems and data links. Once operational, the Netherlands intends to finance a Phase 3 upgrade, which will involve the development and installation of additional customized fire control systems and support for new European-built rockets slash missiles that have greater range. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.